Hello everyone! For today's video lesson ay i-discuss ko sa inyo ang inyong learning task number 1 at number 2 tungkol sa analyzing and interpreting data. Ito ay para sa mga grade 10, week 7 to 8, fourth quarter. Hello everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel ko, gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe, at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Just keep on watching! Hello everyone! So, malapit na nga kayong matapos sa inyong learner's packet na module. Konti na lang at nga nga mo'y moving up na to. Maraming maraming salamat sa mga nanonood sa mga videos ko, lalong lalo na sa mga nagko-comment. At sana nakatulong ako sa inyo mula po ng first quarter hanggang ngayong fourth quarter at kasama ko kayo sa inyong journey ngayong pandemic. So, dito sa learning task number one, Ask your classmates about their science, English, and mathematics grades. Gather all the data from your classmates by listing. Then, construct a frequency distribution of group data. Use class size is equal to 5. Calculate the following. First quartile, fourth decile, 68th percentile, and percentile rank of 80. Interpret each result. Bibigyan ko lang kayo ng example para magawa ninyo yung learning task na to. And dito sa example na to, merong 60 na grades. Ang gagawin ninyo dito, i-compute ninyo isa-isa yung science, English, at math. So, ang gagawin ko lang dito ay yung math. So, ibig sabihin, meron kayong tatlong gagawin na data. Kaya siguro 2 weeks yung nakalaan dito kasi masyadong marami. Since given naman na yung class size, hindi na natin kukunin yung range at saka yung class interval. Ang gagawin na lang natin ay hahanapin natin kung ano yung lowest. So, naka-arrange na to sa ascending order para mas mabilis tayong magtali. So, ang lowest is 75 at ang highest naman ay 97. So, gagawa tayo ngayon ng table. Dito sa pinakababa, ilalagay natin yung lowest grade which is 75 at ang class size ay 5. mag a lang tayo dito ng 5. So, 75 plus 5 equals 80. Plus 5 equals 85, plus 5 equals 90, plus 5 equals 95. Then, ang next na gagawin, mag-subtract tayo dito ng 1, yun ang magiging upper limit natin. 80 minus 1 equals 79, 85 minus 1 equals 84, hanggang dito. So, dito naman, nagdagdag lang ng 5 dito sa 94, kaya naging 99 dito. Ang next na gagawin ay itatali na natin. So, madali na lang to kasi naka-arrange na siya in ascending order. Dito sa 75 to 79, so 75 hanggang dito sa 79, by 10 ito, so merong 13. Kaya 13 na tali to. Then sa 80 to 84 naman, merong 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15. Merong 15 na 80 to 84 ang grade. Tapos, ganun din ang gawin ninyo dito, 85 to 89, that is 12. Tapos, 92, 94 naman ay 13. Tapos, 95 to 99 is 7. So, then, pagkatapos matali, ito total na yung mga sticks. So, ito ay 7. Ito naman ay 13, 12, 15, and then 13. Then, ang next na gagawin, kunin na natin yung less than cumulative frequency. Kabisadong kabisado nyo na to. Kopyahin nyo lang tong pinakababa dito, 13, i-add natin yung 15 equals 28, plus 12 equals 40, plus 13 equals 53, plus 7 equals 60. Then, sa lower boundary naman, mag-subtract tayo ng 0 0.5 sa lower limit, 75 minus 0 0.5 equals 74.5, then 80 minus 0 0.5 equals 79.5. Ganon ang gawin ninyo hanggang dito. Then, yung class mark naman, that is the middle value. Ano yung nasa gitna ng 95, 96, 97, 98, 99? That is 97. Or, pwede rin namang i-add natin ito, 90, tapos i-divide sa 2, 90 plus 94, divided by 2, 
equals 92. Then, kunin natin yung product ng frequency at class mark. 7 times 97 is equal to 679. Then, 13 times 92 equals 1196. And then, ganun ang gawin ninyo hanggang dito sa baba. Para makuha naman yung mean, kailangan natin kunin muna yung total nito. I-add lang natin lahat. 679 hanggang dito sa 1001. That would be equal to 5150. Ito naman yung formula ng mean, the summation of the product of frequency and class mark all over n. So, 60 ito. So, the summation of the frequency and class mark is 5,150 divided by 60 is equal to 85.83. So, pwede natin gamitin itong descriptors or grading scale ng DepEd. So, ito yon. Average grade in math of 60 students or your classmates is 85.83%. Based on the computed result, so merong on doon, it is shown that my classmates have a very satisfying grade in math. Kasi 85.83, so nandito siya. Kaya very satisfactory. Okay? Next, kunin naman natin yung quartile 1. So, ito na lang ang kukunin natin sa table kasi hindi na natin kailangan yung class mark. At saka nung product of frequency and class mark. Para makuha natin yung quartile 1, kunin muna natin yung KN over 4. Ang K natin is 1 kasi quartile 1. 1 times 60 divided by 4 equals 15. Then, hanapin natin yung greater than or equal to 15 dito. Nandito yung ating class position. Then, ang lower boundary is 79.5. Ang cumulative frequency below ay 13, bababa ng isang beses. Then, ang frequency naman ay 15. Tapos, ang class size natin is 5. By substitution, that is, lower boundary is equal to 79.5 plus the quantity of Kn over 4, that is 15, minus ang cumulative frequency below ay 13, all over ang frequency naman ay 15 times 5. Simplify, 15 minus 13 is equal to 2. Then, 2 divided by 15 times 5 is equal to 0 0.67. By using your calculator. 0 0.67 plus 79.5 is equal to 80.17 or 80% na lang. It can be said that 25% of my classmates, kasi kayo ang gagawin dito, had a grade of less than or equal to 80%. This means that 15 of my classmates, bakit 15 yon? Kasi 25%, 25% yung quartile 1, times yung ilan kayo. 25% times 60 or kapag i-compute ninyo sa calculator, 0.25 times 60 is equal to 15. Gets ninyo? Kaya 15 na estudyante or 15 of my classmates needed remediation or intervention in their math because they had a grade of 80% or below. Next naman is compute natin yung fourth decile. So, ito ay 60. Ito naman ang formula ng decile na palitan lang ng 10 yung over dito sa, or yung denominator dito. Kunin natin yung kn over 10. Ang k natin is 4, kasi 4 ito. So, 4 times 60 over 10. 4 times 60 over 10 is equal to 24. So, nasaan ang class position natin? Nandito siya. Ang lower boundary natin is 79.5. Ang cumulative frequency below ay 13. Ito yon. Tapos, ang frequency ay 15. Then, ang class size naman ay 5. By substitution, that is, lower boundary is 79.5 plus KN over 10 is 24 minus ang CFB ay 13 all over ang frequency ay 15 times 5. Simplify, 24 minus 13 is equal to 11. 11 divided by 15 times 5 equals 3.67. Then, 3.67 plus 79.5 is equal to 83.17 or 83%. Uh, ano naman ang ibig sabihin nito? It can be said that 40%. So, bakit 40%? Kasi 4th decile tayo. Kasi, 4 divided by 10 times 100 is equal to 40%. Kaya ganyan. 
of my classmates had a grade of less than or equal to 83%. This means that 24 of my classmates, bakit na naman naging 24 yan? Since 40% ito, kaya 0.40 times 60 is equal to 24. Kaya 24 of my classmates needed intervention in their math because they had a grade of 83% or below. Then, next, nakukunin natin is yung 68th percentile. Ang formula naman dito ay over 100 ito. Then, kunin natin yung KN over 100. Ang K dito ay 60 kasi 60 times ang N natin is 60 ito over 100. 60 times 60 divided by 100 equals 36. Kaya nasaan ang class position natin? Nandito. Kasi greater than or equal to 36 yung 40. Kaya ang lower boundary natin is 84.5. Ang cumulative frequency below ay 28. Ang frequency ay 12. At ang class size naman ay 5. By substitution, ang lower boundary ay 84.5 plus KN over 100 is 36 minus ang CFB ay 28 all over ang frequency ay 12 times ang class size is 5. Simplify, 36 minus 28 is equal to 8. Then 8 divided by 12 times 5 is equal to 3.33. Then, 84.5 plus 3.33 is equal to 87.83 or 88%. It can be said that 60% of my classmates had a grade of less than or equal to 88%. This means that 36 of my classmates, bakit 36 yun? Kasi 0.60 times 60 is equal to 36. So, 36 of my classmates have a grade of less than or equal to 88 while 40% of my classmates, 40 ito, sorry, kasi 100 minus 60 is equal to 40. 40 of my classmates have a grade of greater than or equal to 88%. O kaya 24 sa mga klase mo ang mas mataas pa sa 88%. At yung 36 doon ay mas mababa or equal to 88%. Then, lastly, yung percentile rank of 80 naman. Since ang lowest score ay 75, so ang gagawin kong percentile rank ay 80. Kasi wala namang nag-grade dito ng 72 or 70 below. Pero kung meron, gamitin ninyo yung nasa module ninyo na percentile rank of 75. So, 60 ito. Then, ito naman ang formula ng percentile rank. Alin naman dito ang less than 80? So, nandito tayo sa interval na to kasi less than 80 yung kukunin natin. Meaning, ang lower boundary natin is 74.5. Ang cumulative frequency below ay 0 kasi wala naman ng ano dito. Cumulative frequency kaya 0. Then, ang frequency ay 13. Ang class size naman ay 5. By substitution, that is 100 divided by ang N natin is 60 times ang P natin is 79. Kasi less than 80 yung kukunin natin, kaya 79. Minus ang lower boundary ay 74.5 times 13 all over 5 plus 0. Simplify, 100 divided by 60 is equal to 1.67. 79 minus 74.5 times 13 all over 5 plus 0 is equal to 11.7. Multiply natin to 1.67 times 11.7 that is equal to 19.4 or 20%. Ibig sabihin yan, 20% of the class have a grade of less than 80 kasi 80 yung ano, percentile rank natin. While 80% of the class have a grade of greater than 80. Bakit 80%? Kasi 100 minus 20 equals 80. Therefore, 48 of my classmates have a grade of very satisfying grade in math. Bakit 48? Kasi, 0. 0.80 times 60 is equal to 48. At saka yung 12 naman dito, yung 20% naman ng kaklase mo ay less than 80 ang kanilang grade. Now, let us proceed sa learning task number 2. Which measure of the position should be used in order to get the rank of particular student in the NKI? 
So, ang pinaka-best na measure of position na gagamitin kapag kinukuha yung n kai ay yung percentile, that is letter D. Number two, what measure of position are you going to use if you are to determine whether an observation from a data set falls in the upper 20% or the lower 80% of the ordered data set? So, nilagay ko dito yung pagbabasehan natin. Ano daw ang ibig sabihin or anong measure of position yung lower 80%? So, ito yon lower 80% daw. Tapos, yung 20% ay mas mataas. Ito. So, ilan yan? That is 80th percentile. Meaning to say, letter B. Kasi, mas mababa sa kanya ay 80% at ang mas mataas naman dito ay 20%. Diba? Nandito yung mataas at nandito naman yung mababa. Number 3, if you are to determine whether an observation from a data set falls in the upper 50% or the lower 50% of the ordered set, what is the most appropriate tool to use? First quartile ba? Second decile ba? Third quartile ba? Or median? So, ang tinutukoy dito ay itong nasa gitna. Okay? Meron bang quartile to dyan? Wala. Meron bang 50th percentile? Wala. Meron bang 5th decile? Wala rin. Pero, ang tawag dito sa gitna ay median. So, ibig sabihin, letter D. Or, just mean will determine the score that divides a set of data into the upper 75% or lower 25%. What measures of the position must she use? 3rd quartile ba? Median ba? 6th decile or 70th percentile? Nandito yung 75% and lower 25%. Meaning to say, quartile 1. May quartile 1 ba dyan? Or percentile 25? Wala sa choices. Ibig sabihin, isusulat na lang ninyo yung tamang sagot. That is, first quartile. Hindi naman third quartile yan kasi, ang nakalagay dapat dito ay upper na 25% tapos lower na 75%. Then, number 5, Rowan Chen conducted a study that analyzes the performance of the grade 10 students in the third periodical test in English. The average score is 30 and its percentile rank is 60%. What does it imply? Di ba sa percentile rank, 60% ton ay mas mababa sa 30. So, alin dito sa choices? Hindi pwede ito kasi 30%, hindi rin ito. It's either sa C or D. Tingnan natin. Diba sabi natin, mas mababa sa 60%. Above ba or below? Below. So, that is letter D. 60% of the students are below the average score of 30. So, yun lamang sana nakatulong ito sa inyo. At abangan ninyo yung pinakalas na learning test ninyo sa inyong school year 2020 to 2021. Maraming salamat sa inyong panonood. Kung nakatulong ito sa inyo, mag-comment kayo sa baba at i-share nyo na rin sa mga classmates ninyo para malaman nila. Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy at mag-aaral ng mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!